Welcome back to another episode of Rust News. Recently, the results of the 2021 Rust survey were published containing some interesting insights. The survey took feedback from 9,354 respondents. This was roughly 1,500 more respondents than the year prior, showing that the Rust community is growing. Usage of Rust is also rising. 81% of respondents are currently using Rust at least on a weekly basis. This is up from 72% the year prior. Also, 75% of respondents say that they could write production-ready Rust code, with 27% of those saying that it's difficult at times. Let's take a closer look at the breakdown. 24% of respondents say that they could write simple Rust programs. 27% of respondents say that they could write production-ready code, but it could be a struggle. 40% of respondents say that they are productive writing Rust code. And 8% say that they are an expert. Next, let's talk about Rust in the workplace. Almost 60% of respondents say that they use Rust at work, at least occasionally. This is up from 42% the year prior. Looking at the breakdown, 23% of respondents use Rust for the majority of their coding. 17% of respondents say that Rust is one of the languages they use on a regular basis. 20% of respondents say that they use Rust occasionally. And 41% of respondents say that they do not use Rust at work. The blog post also points out that 83% of respondents found adopting Rust at work to be challenging. However, only 13% of respondents found that adopting Rust was slowing down their team. And 82% of respondents found that Rust helped their teams achieve their goals. Looking at the breakdown of responses, we can also see that 79% of the respondents said that adopting Rust was worth the cost, with only 1% saying that the cost was not worth it. Also, 90% of respondents said that they were likely to use Rust again in the future. The last thing this blog post highlights is some challenges ahead. 61% of respondents say that the compile times need to be improved. Although 61% also said that the compile times have improved over the past year. Some other areas of improvement the respondents called out are disk space, debugging, and GUI development. On a positive note, 56% of respondents found that the IDE experience has improved over the past year. Error messages also received praise with a 90% approval rate. When respondents were asked what their biggest worry for the future of Rust was, 38% responded that their biggest fear was industry adoption. The article points out that given increased usage of Rust in the workplace, we are on a good path to overcoming this concern. The next largest concern is that the language will become too complex. And the third largest concern is that the people working on Rust will not find the proper support they need to continue to develop the language and community in a healthy way. The article points out that the Rust Foundation and supporting structures should help address this concern. The article ends by saying 2021 was an exciting year. We got the Rust Foundation, a new edition of Rust, and the Rust community keeps expanding. If this momentum continues, the future for Rust is bright. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and leave a comment. Lastly, get your free Rust cheat sheet by heading over to letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.